this fracture has fallen down from height on outstretched hand and he has developed significantly displaced distal radius intraarticular comminuted fracture for which we are going to do k wiring procedure ideally in this kind of cases we should do open reduction internal fixation with plating but because of financial issues we are going to do k wiring in this person so as you can see my assistant is giving linear traction and uh, this linear traction is going to disimpact the fracture on top of that i am giving the ulnar deviation and palmar tilt to the wrist joint so this is going to reduce our fracture under iitv guidance i am going to advance my 1.5 mm k wire through the tip of the radial styloid process i am also going to see the lateral view to make sure that the trajectory of my k wire is correct it is very important to be precise in drilling the k wire because multiple entries inside the bone is going to make this procedure useless because there won't be any hold of the wires in that scenario so we have advanced our first k wire and now we are going to insert another k wire slightly more dorsal to this second k wire the most common complication during this wiring procedure is damage to the thumb extensor tendons so we should first try to feel the bone and drill only as much as is required so this is going to prevent inadvertent damage to the tendons lying just next to the radial styloid so we have inserted our second k wire so as you can see i am checking the position of the wire and reduction of the fracture in both pa and lateral view and i am satisfied with the position of the wire as well as the reduction of the fracture so now i am going to insert another k wire from the dorsal aspect of the wrist over the most ulnar side of the distal radius to engage the medial most fragment of the fractured distal radius for this you can see that i have palmar flex the wrist and this is going to make it easy for me to find the correct entry here epl tendon is at wrist if correct entry point is not identified the trajectory of this wire is from the ulnar to radial side and from dorsal to palmar side so we are done with the third k wire insertion the reduction is uh, quite good based on the iitv images and we are going to accept this reduction now i am going to bend the wires and the bending of the wire is important because we don't want the wires to progress inside the bent tip of the k wires will keep the wires in its position so now we are done with the k wiring procedure and now we are going to apply below elbow cast before applying plaster we have done pin track dressing with betadine soaked gauze piece and on top of that i have applied sterile soft roll and on top of that i am applying 4 inch plaster of paris it is important to keep the plaster well molded the plaster should not be too tight and it should not be too loose either you can see that my assistant is giving linear traction and we are also going to give palmar flexion as well as ulnar deviation this is going to keep the fracture in reduced position these are the images after reduction we will keep this plaster for 6 weeks duration after which we are going to remove the wire and start physiotherapy thank you